Clara and Fritz are two siblings, whose mother died recently. They play and try to catch a mouse in their trap. And as soon as the mouse is caught in their trap, their maid comes. She calls them down, because their father Stahlbaum comes there. And they meet with their sister Louise. Stahlbaum gives them gifts from their mother before she passed away. But Louise says it's not Christmas Day yet. He says that their mother wanted him to give them the gifts on Christmas Eve. Children are very happy to receive the gifts, and they begin to see them. Clara opens her present, and it is an egg-shaped object. But it is locked and there is no key in the box to open it. Clara comes to her room, and there is a letter in the box from her mother. She opens the letter and reads it. Her mother has written that her gift contains everything she needs, but she is confused and not happy. Her father came to her room, and explains to Clara that Christmas is a day that comes every year, whether we like it or not. But we have to enjoy it. Louise also arrives in Clara's room, and is wearing her mother's dress. Stahlbaum looks towards Louise, and she is just looking like her mother. He asks Louise to help Clara in getting ready, because they are going to a Christmas party. Louise is helping Clara in getting ready. Clara kept looking at the egg which was a gift from her mother. She sees the alphabet D written on it, and quickly understands that it was made by Drosselmeyer. Drosselmeyer is the person who raised their mother and is a famous businessman. Clara is happy when knowing that Drosselmeyer will be at the party, and he definitely knows how to open this egg. On the way, their father tells them that they should behave well at the dinner, and he wants to dance with both of them, especially Clara, so that she doesn't disappear today. They arrive at the party, and everyone is celebrating. Clara goes downstairs to see Drosselmeyer. He asks Clara to help him in fixing a toy, because its mechanism was not working properly. Clara looks at the toy carefully, and immediately fixes the toy. She showed the egg to Drosselmeyer and asked about the key. Drosselmeyer sees it and says that he made it for a smart girl, and he meant Clara's mother. He further explains that when her mother first came to him, she used to spend the whole day in her room, and she didn't trust anyone. Drosselmeyer had made it for her mother, and he kept it outside her room, which she slowly began to believe. Clara asks him about the key, and he says some locks are harder to select than others. After the bell rings, he tells Clara to go upstairs. Drosselmeyer then asks his owl to watch over her. Everyone gathers in the hall, and Drosselmeyer makes a speech. He then presents them with their gifts, and everyone rushes outside, rejoicing in their gifts. Clara is also going out, but her father stops her. He is angry because of her disappearance, but Clara says that she doesn't want to dance. Her father replied that she always thinks of herself only, and this made Clara angry. Clara replied that he is also thinking about himself, and leaves. She starts looking for her gift, and then sees her name and follows her rope. The rope takes her to a new place, and reaches the Christmas tree forest. Clara begins to take her gift off the tree, and she sees her gift. It is a key, and thinks that it might be the same key she is looking for. But suddenly, a mouse comes and runs away with the key. Clara runs after the mouse, but it runs into the forest. She followed the mouse, and it runs to the other side of the lake. As Clara tries to pass the frozen lake, it begins to crack. Clara stops and looks for a way, until she sees a bridge. She comes to the bridge, and there is a nutcracker in his booth. As Clara starts to cross the bridge, Nutcracker wakes up and stops her from crossing the bridge. But when Clara tells him her full name, he immediately bows his head. He tells Clara that his name is Captain Philip, and that her mother, Marie Stahlbaum, is the queen. And Clara is their princess. He then tells Clara it's dangerous to cross the bridge, as it is the fourth realm and there is a war going on. But Clara says, she has to go that way anyway, and orders him. He takes Clara to the other side on a horse. And she sees the same mouse there, and runs after it. As soon as Clara approaches the mouse, it goes under the ground. But suddenly, many mice forming a shape attack Clara from behind. They tried to take Clara with them, but Philip comes there and saves her. Philip asks Clara to leave, because that place is not safe for her. Meanwhile, Clara hears a voice. It is Mother Ginger's voice, she calls anyone who approaches the area to kill him. Mother Ginger tries to stop Clara, but Philip tells her that it's a trap and that Mother Ginger doesn't like intruding. He brings her to the palace, and the palace guards stop her. But when they hear Clara's name, they panic and immediately allow her to enter the palace. Clara enters the palace, 
and all bow down to her. There were pictures of Clara's mother everywhere, and Clara goes inside the meeting room. Hearing Clara's name, all the regents stand up, and the regents started to introduce themselves. Hawthorne, the regent of the land of flowers. Shiver, the regent of the land of snowflakes. And finally, Sugar Plum, the regent of the land of sweets. They then ask her about her mother. Clara says that her mother has died, and they all get worried after hearing this tragic news. They take Clara to her mother's throne, and Sugar Plum asks Clara if she has come to save them. Clara denied it and says that she didn't know about this place. She tells them about the events that happened to her after coming here. Philip explains how they managed to get here, after escaping the Mouse King and Mother Ginger. The Regent says that it was her fate that she has survived the Fourth Realm, as no one has managed to get out from the Fourth Realm. The Regent says they should hold a pageant to celebrate Clara's arrival. But Clara says that she has to go back to the party. And the Regent tells her that there is a big difference between realm and world time. Sugar Plum then takes her to another room to see. And they have a very large dial, the same as Drosselmeyer used to have. Sugar Plum asks Clara to stand still, and the dial started to move. As the dial turns around, they came out in a wall clock. Clara looked at the party, everyone is dancing and enjoying, but everything is moving very slowly. Sugar Plum explains that time in their world runs slower than in the realm. She brings Clara to another room, and asks her to get ready for the pageant. Sugar Plum also helps Clara look so cute. And on the occasion of the pageant, everyone looks at Clara. The pageant starts. It is about her mother Marie, and how her mother discovered this world. She sees all the realms one by one, including the fourth realm. Sugar Plum tells her that before her mother's discovery, they were all just toys, and children play with them. But her mother gave them life. She takes Clara to another room, where she shows Clara the engine built by Marie. And with her help, she has created all these worlds and infused them with life. After which emotions like happiness, sadness, anger, and love emerged in them. Sugar Plum adds that according to their spies, Mother Ginger is on the warpath. The engine is the only way they can protect themselves by building an army. But there is a key in it which is held by Clara's mother. And without it, it does not work. Clara takes out the egg from her, and they both have the same lock. She tells them that the key has been taken by a rat, and says she will go to the fourth realm and bring the key. Philip says it's dangerous, but Clara says, maybe that's why her mother sent her here. Clara sleeps at night, and remembers the last Christmas she spent with her mother. When she told Clara, that she has created a world and infused the toys with life. Her mother then tells Clara that she will also see this world. Clara goes to the roof as she misses her mother, and says that she doesn't know if she will be able to get the key. And that if she can't do that, the world discovered by her mother will end. She wishes her mother to be with her now, to tell her if she is doing the right thing or not. Meanwhile, a star breaks from the sky and passes through its sky, and thinks that she is doing the right thing. The next day, Clara prepares the army. She is in military uniform, and Sugar Plum is also there. Sugar says that she can't join her due to some personal reasons, and she goes into the palace. The soldiers who stopped Clara while she was coming into the palace, are also standing and volunteered to join. Clara then tells the army to leave, and walks out of the palace. They go in search of the Mouse King in the forest, and they arrive at Mother Ginger's clown. The whole army is afraid to go inside, because it is extremely foggy inside. But Clara dismounts and walks in by herself. And the army also starts following him. Suddenly, the soldiers start sinking into the ground, and they all jump on the carousel. Clara turns on the lights. But mice break the carousel from the bottom. And Clara jumps off the carousel, but Mouse King picks her up and takes her to Mother Ginger. Philip follows him, and Clara goes inside the clown. Inside, the Jokers tease Clara and push her into a chair. While the chair moves up, Clara sees the key hanging in front of her. She tries to remove it, but Mother Ginger arrives. Clara tells her that her mother is dead, but Mother Ginger takes the key in her hands. Meanwhile, Philip also arrives, and he distracts Mother Ginger. Clara then presses the lever and descends with the key. Ginger continues to fend her off, but Philip and Clara both run away. Clara gets out and stops some distance away, and opens the egg. But it was just a music box. Clara is disturbed to see it, and doesn't understand anything. She gives the key to Philip, and tries to leave on her own. But Philip stops her, 
and they both go to the palace. Sugar Plum is extremely happy to receive the key, and she immediately turns on the engine. She orders putting tin soldiers on the platform, but Philip says she can't use them, because they don't know the behavior of tin soldiers. Sugar Plum doesn't listen, and she puts tin soldiers on the platform and activates the engine. They come to life, and she orders them to march on the fourth realm. Clara counters that her mother would never want that. But Sugar Plum's ugly face emerges, and orders the tin soldiers to arrest Clara. They arrest her and Philip, and lock them in a room with the other two regents. Clara is sad and says, that all this happened because of her. She keeps looking at the music box, and finds a secret mirror in it. Clara remembers the words of her mother, and her mind clicks. She understands what her mother is saying, and that she wants Clara to just trust herself and her abilities. Clara then asks Philip for help. They make a plan, and manage to escape. Clara and Philip are hiding in the room, to watch Sugar Plum and what she is doing. But a mouse comes, and it wants to say something to them. Clara understands and asks the mouse for a way to the engine room. And the mouse takes them through the underground sewers to the engine room. Clara tells Philip to go to Mother Ginger, and tell her about the battle. She now makes sure that Ginger is a good person. She climbs off the side of the hill herself, and turns off the engine. Philip approaches Ginger, and tells her everything. And they are coming towards the palace. Meanwhile, Clara tries to sneak into the engine by distracting tin soldiers with the help of toy mice in the engine room. On the other hand, Sugar Plum soldiers attack Ginger's clown, and the clown manages to keep them busy for a long time. The clown is shot down by the soldiers, and Sugar Plum is waiting for Ginger. But Philip comes out from the clown. In the engine room, the tin soldiers discover Clara's presence. The soldiers are near to catch Clara, but Ginger arrives and stops them. Sugar Plum comes to the engine room, and captures Ginger with the help of tin soldiers. But Clara hides under the engine, and then comes in front of Sugar. Clara explains to Sugar Plum that her mother would never want that. But she doesn't agree and said that her mother was their queen, and the queen left her people alone. Sugar Plum tells the soldiers to put Ginger on the platform, as soon as she runs the engine. But Bean turns to Sugar Plum instead of Ginger, and turns her back into a toy. Along with this, Tin soldiers also lost their lives. Everything is back to normal, and Clara and Ginger hug each other. The next day, a feast is laid for Clara. Everyone is very happy, and Philip comes to drop Clara off, and he asks Clara if she will come to Realm again. Clara says she will come, but first, Philip should come to her world, and meet her family. They both say goodbye to each other and Clara comes back. Back at the party, Clara meets Drosselmeyer, and tells him that she has done the job. Drosselmeyer tells Clara that her mother was undoubtedly the smartest inventor, and that whenever he asked her about her best invention, she mentioned Clara's name. Clara smiles, and comes out to meet her father. She apologizes to him, but is surprised that her father apologizes to her for his behavior. Clara takes out the music box from her pocket, and asks her father to dance. As the song plays, her father remembers, that this is the same song he danced to with her mother for the first time. And they start dancing together. 